Hello YouTube, Jonathan800 here. So today, I will be showing my game, what I did for the official Dis Hearts of Iron 4 Discord's uh, bi-weekly challenge. So basically, this is kind of something I did similar a while ago, and that is basically doing War Powers Act as Landon. Because no one likes to switch ideologies. America is a land of freedom, why would you dare switch ideologies? So, we start off with a wholesome invasion of Canada, <laughs> as America truly intended. Lots of history of us trying to invade Canada, like during the Revolution and during War of 1812. But this time, we actually did get some success and don't die in a blizzard. So, with Canada gone, our attention has to shift to the rest of the United Kingdom. So, after a surprisingly difficult battle in Labrador, because supply, we just quickly hop over to Cuba because we gotta prevent Bay of Pigs from happening by conducting a more successful version. And after that, we uh, start shifting focus to the UK because uh, uh, we sided with the Germans, but we don't talk about that. We only wanted to uh, take Canada. But the British said no. So, with a uh, middle axis with Germany, we decided to conduct a Brit naval invasion of the British. They were gonna fight us on the beaches if they actually did. I was completely stunlocked based on uh, how incompetent British AI is. But, basically, once you get a beachhead in the UK, in Vanilla, it's just game over. They don't know what to do. The American Navy is just too powerful because that's pretty much mostly what I developed during interwar. And basically, you just push in the UK. It's not the... Well, if you have naval superiority, you just instantly win because... If you were the UK getting sea line, you usually put your navy up to convoy raid to starve the troops, but they did have a navy. So with that, I took every holding in uh, North America and got a bit of England because even though I deserved all of the British. Then we're going to do Me America's f next favorite pastime, which is going down in Mexico. So basically, uh... It's just a classic invasion of Mexico. This is similar to like the original one. Uh, US Marines landing uh, at Veracruz and then heading up to Mexico City. Kind of a repeat of the first one like I said. As you tell I'm not scripted. I just cannot be barred to write a script this time, sorry. But uh, as you briefly saw there, Mexico does have a faction. I believe when you do War Powers Act and you do the demands, they do make a faction. And because of that, I was going to exploit it by declaring uh, war on all the Latin American countries so they don't join a faction. Because that would be quite unfortunate. Notice Panama is in a faction. But for some reason, Guatemala, I think it was Guatemala, no, it was Nicaragua. I don't remember. Either way. Uh, this is all I have to do because I got the Caribbean from the British and French and it's gonna be a nice quick uh, peace conference because Mexico was fas faction leader. Now after that we bring back FDR uh, in the election. So true democracy at its finest when all of North America is uh, under British protect, not British, American protection. But uh, Japan decides to attack me, but I also have the French and British fleet, so it was even more disastrous for the Japanese. Also during this time, I had to uh, s slowly annex the puppets because the Discord server did not want puppets. They wanted you to completely annex them. And that's what I've been doing. Then the US Marines do Island Hop Okinawa with great success. And with that, we have an invasion of the Japanese home islands. And despite AP bombs not doing the greatest for cast, they still provide a little bit of cast, and it does help. 
Slightly. But I think the thing that gave them the most help was actually the 100 plus ships uh, providing shore bombardment. But also, Japan always struggles for the most part when it comes to uh, defending itself. I miss actually being able to play a pod where it's easy to see lion or invade the home islands. Sheep, uh, sheep's mod I might play again. But there we go, with the fall of Tokyo, it's going to be smooth sailing. As America is now, once again, a peacetime country. Annexing all its neighbors. And with that... That is the challenge complete on December 1942, even if I did win in like 1940 with by puppeting everyone. So either way, thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. You know the deal, and this is Jonathan800 signing out.